what we are going to discuss now is symmetry. Suppose we have this figure and if we, are, we draw a line passing exactly from the center or the middle of this image, in a way it divides this figure into two equal halves. One is the right half and one is the left half. Now, we have divided using this line into a right half and the left half. Now think that, just imagine that we have a mirror on this line. We have a mirror on this line. Okay, we have a mirror on this line. And when you are trying to look this right side of this figure into the mirror, when you are trying to look this right side into the mirror, then the mirror image will be exactly the left portion of this figure. Again, this is the right portion. And if I, we have placed a mirror on this line and you are trying to look this right side into the mirror, then whatever image will be formed will exactly be the same as this left side. That is, it will overlap on this one. Reverse, if you try to look this left side of this figure into the mirror, then the mirror image will be exactly the same as this right side of the figure, right? Therefore, these two equal halves, that is the left and the right halves are known as, will be called as mirror image of each other. Mirror image of each other. And therefore, this line will be called mirror line. Will be called mirror line or, or line of line of symmetry. Why symmetry? Because this line, that is a line of symmetry has divided this figure into two equal halves that are mirror image of each other. Therefore, we will say that this figure is symmetrical. It is symmetrical. It is in symmetry around this line because it can divide it exactly into the mirror images of each other. Line of symmetry or axis of symmetry or axis of symmetry right you have to remember these terms now we have the circle here and what we have uh, what we just did earlier with that figure we are going to do the same thing with this circle this is the center and from the center this line is passing dividing this circle into two equal halves and therefore these two equal halves will be the mirror image of each other and therefore this circle will be called a symmetrical figure or a, will be the symmetry because this has been divided into two equal halves that is mirror images of each other right so this is the mirror line or the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry We have this square here. Is this figure a symmetrical figure? So if I pass a, if this is the length of this square, okay, so in a square all the sides are equal. If I pass a line from exactly from the center of this side, okay, if it's not looking perfectly, you know, passing from the center, just assume. Okay, imagine that it's passing from the center, making this half and that is the left one and this half, that is the right half. Both will be the mirror image of images of each other and therefore this will be the axis of symmetry or the line of symmetry. Why symmetry? Because we have two mirror images of each other, these two equal halves. 
Therefore, this figure is a symmetrical figure. Now, what about this rectangle? You will say, hey, that's very simple. In your rectangle, if this is the length and this is the breadth, if we just like what we did here, if we pass a if we pass a center line from this one, dividing this rectangle into two equal halves, it's not exactly from the center. This is much better. Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay. So this is the left part, this is the right part. This is what the axis of symmetry, axis of symmetry. Okay, why? Because this figure is symmetrical around this axis of symmetry that is dividing it, this figure into two equal halves. Where it is passing from? It's passing exactly from the center, that is the middle point of this length of this rectangle. What about this one? It's something like a square, all sides are equal but just the edges are round, they are rounded. Okay. Again with this figure, if we, if we assume that this is a middle point of this side and if we pass a line from here, okay, maybe from here, Not me, I'm sorry, better, I hope so, okay, this one is better. So, if this is divided into two equal halves, that is the left one and the right one. Okay. This is the axis of symmetry and this figure is symmetrical around this axis of symmetry. What about this one? It's somewhat similar to, you know, this figure, only here all the edges, the difference is here in this figure, all the edges were uh, sides were equal, but in this case, it's something uh, kind of rectangle with rounded edges. So, in the, if in this case we have this line of symmetry that is dividing into two equal halves, those are mirror images of each other. Because if you place a mirror on this line, then this will be the mirror image of this right side, and the left side would be the right side will be the mirror uh, image of the left side. So this is again the axis of symmetry. It is, this figure is symmetrical. What about this one? Okay, this is an equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle. And why I am mentioning this is, the reason behind mentioning this is equilateral triangle. I am mentioning this because not all the uh, triangles will be symmetrical. If this is an equilateral triangle and if we you know, pass exactly from this vertex, passing from the middle point of this line, let's assume that this was the middle point of this side and if you pass from this vertex, this image has been now divided into two equal halves, this part and this part. This is axis of symmetry and it's this figure is symmetrical around this axis of symmetry because these two equal halves are mirror images of each other. And why I'm saying that not all the triangles are symmetrical, there's a reason I'm not going to, you know, uh, discuss that completely because that you will learn when you will move to your higher standards but just let me explain you that very quickly. These two figures are also uh, triangles right this is a triangle this is a triangle but can you say that this is a symmetrical uh, this will be symmetrical no this can't be in symmetry because you can see that this is actually a right angle triangle but if I try to pa pass a line from here is it in symmetry? No. If I try to pass a line from here, okay, something symmetry like uh, from here, is it in symmetry? No, it's not in symmetry. If I try to pass a line from here, 
Is it in symmetry? No, it's not in symmetry. Okay. So because of this, we say that not all the triangles are symmetrical. Okay. But in this case, we have this triangle as symmetrical in this case. So this is a basic introduction of you know symmetry. And in the next video on symmetry, we are going to discuss something you know extra, some other points related to symmetry.